Welcome back to the Groundbreaker International YouTube channel. It is good to be back with you here once again, as always. In the last days, perilous times will come, it says in 2 Timothy. But it also says, the prophet Joel prophesied, and it came to pass in the book of Acts, that God's Spirit will be poured out on all flesh. So can we have an outpouring and at the same time, perilous times? We're going to talk about that. Also going to talk about it is time for completion. We are coming into the last part of the year 5783 over the next five months. And God is about to complete some things. Some assignments are about to be completed and some judgment and blessings are about to be completed over the next few months. We're about to go through a door all of that and more right now. We are moving forward in the year 5783 on the Jewish calendar. And as we move forward into the year 5784, I want to go deeper into some things that are going on right now. It seems as if there is an open heaven and an open hell all at the same time. And for those that don't study out the scriptures, you may be a little bit confused. Well, I believe right now God is finishing some things. There is a completion that is happening over the next five months. Let me explain. In the book of Joel, chapter 2, the prophet Joel prophesies and says, It shall come to pass afterward that the Spirit of God will be poured out onto all flesh. So we know that in the last days, uh, in the church age, that the Spirit of God will be poured out on all flesh. Of course, we know that that came to pass in the book of Acts, and that now we live in the church age in which the Spirit of God is pouring out on all flesh. All we have to do is accept what it is that God is doing right now. But then in 2 Timothy 3.1, it says that in the last days, perilous times will come. So which is it? Is it, a, is it an outpouring? Or is it all hell breaking loose? Well, I believe that right now in 5783, we are experiencing both. But remember, the number three, gamel, means to deal out. It means to wean off of, but it means to deal out or bring forth something, either blessings or judgment. Remember, the gamel is the righteous one coming to deal out to the impoverished one, charity. And so the word gamel means to deal out, and it means to deal out blessings or judgment. So literally right now, you are hanging in the time period of God is dealing out both blessings and judgment. The blessings of God are prominent right now. He's pouring out His Spirit on all flesh, and there is an emphasis right now on God pointing at His people and saying, listen, I need you to come into agreement right now that I'm pouring out my spirit on you. And I believe that some people in the church are finally waking up, that there is a remnant of God's people that are that is waking up right now, and they are accepting the pouring out of God's spirit. All we have to do is accept the pouring out, and we can receive from him at any point in time. But at the same time, perilous times are here. We are living literally in the last days. And the judgment of God, I believe, is, is happening. But remember that judgment begins in the house of God. So it begins within God's house first. So that's why we're seeing so much happening all at one time. We're seeing revivals popping up. We saw uh, Asbury and, and things happening in movie theaters, in the movie industry, and uh, but at the same time, we're seeing perilous things happening within the church. We're seeing churches that are compromising more than ever. But you see, the Bible says that perilous times would come. Jesus said that. And so we have to understand that right now there is a war going on in the spirit. But now three is also a number of completion. Let me explain this to you. The word gamel means to deal out or to give something, but it means to bring it to full completion. So right now, at the time of the recording of this video, we are about five months away from a new Hebrew calendar year, from 5783 into 5784. 
And we are in the completion of the completion year. So one meaning of the gamel means to complete, accomplish, or to finish. Now, when you spell out the word gamel, you have the letter gamel, you have the mem, and then you have the letter lamed. One way that you can see this is that the righteous one, the gamel, is coming to the nations to call them to action. Let me explain that. The gamel is representative of the righteous one, the kinsman redeemer, Jesus Christ, the rich man running after those who are in need. So the righteous one, gamel, is running to mem. The, the letter mem in Hebrew is a picture of waves of water. And the mem also could mean nations or the expanse, the sea, the expanse of something. And it has a representation of the nations. So the righteous one this year is coming to run to the nations to call them to Lamed. Now, Lamed in the Hebrew means teaching, but the original pictograph was a shepherd's staff, and it meant to prick or to goad something into action, just as a shepherd would prick or goad the sheep along the uh, guide paths to show them where to go, where to follow at. And so sometimes if a sheep would get off the path, the shepherd would take his staff and prick them or goad them into action to move into the right place, the right position. So right now, one way to see this is the righteous one, the Gamel, running to the nations. He's running after the nations and trying to call them into action, trying to put them into position. We are coming into a position right now. We are coming into a place of completion right now where the plans of God, I believe, this year, the remnant of God, the true remnant of Gideon's army. Remember, Gideon begins with the Gamel. That's a year of Gideon's remnant army lining up, coming into a position so that we can walk through 5784. Now, I'm not going to talk a lot about the number four right now, but I'm going to tell you this much. The four is a door. The letter Dalit in Hebrew is the number four, and it's a picture of a door. We are about to walk through the door in 5784, and right now God is lining up everything. He's calling the nations to action. He's calling us as a church to wake up. The dividing lines have been drawn. I believe that the completion of the dividing lines is happening this year. Even over the next five months, I believe that the clearest of clear dividing lines is happening. And we're coming into a time of completion. What is being completed? Well, I believe that God's remnant is going to be defined over the next five months and into next year so that we can walk through the door into the plans, into the next phase that God has for his people. Um, the, here's some interesting things talking about completion. Well, of course, we know that Christ finished the work at Calvary. Gamel, he dealt it out. He he finished the work on Calvary. And um, also, this is very interesting, Gamel. We're talking about the letter Gamel, the number three, which is the Hebrew calendar year that we're in right now. It also means to inflict or to injure or to do something to someone. So this whole thing is about action right now. The gamel is all about action. It's all about movement. It's not about being stagnant. So that's why things are going very quickly right now. And they're coming into fullness, into a completion. Right now, I believe that it's very important for the body of Christ to understand things move quickly, especially during this time period, and that God is bringing us to a full completion this year into assignments, into certain uh, things that God is wanting to complete on the earth, because that's what the number four is. Uh, it's a number of earth. So God is moving. He's doing things to complete things on the earth before his soon and coming return. I do believe that. Now, the verb gamel is used 37 times in the Old Testament. 
in the basic form was used to mean committing an act of sin against God or a human. Uh, Joseph's brothers feared that Joseph would gamel or repay them for their evil acts to him. This was in Genesis 50, verse 15. Now, the verb could be doing good or evil to someone depending on context. So that's why I say we are literally in that time of both and. It's, it's good things are happening and really bad things are happening right now. But God is moving the chess pieces. He's still in control. And I believe that looking at the completion of 5783, we are looking for God to finish events that were started. Watching for the manifestation of judgment and blessings over the next few months, watch for it. There's going to be a completion of some things. God is going to bring the truth out in some areas. 5783, the last five months, is going to be a completion of assignments, but a completion to events that God has started over the last couple of years. And so the Dalit is coming. The number four is coming. And we are in the home stretch of the Gamel, the time period of completion of God coming to deal out blessings and judgment. And a door is being opened over the next five months. Watch as the door begins to open. The door to new assignments. I feel the Holy Spirit on this. The door to new assignments, are, it's beginning to open, but God is inciting the nations to action to get into alignment and into position right now. As he's calling us forward, there are some be people being called into ministry right now that are literally going to shape the way that the church looks over the coming years. And God right now is beginning to chip away at things on them to prepare them and complete the work that he has in them so that they can move forward over the next few months and walk through the doors into a new beginning, into new life, into new assignments. Very, very critical season right now in the kingdom of God. And I want you to understand that as the shaking continues to happen, and we we talked about this, uh, we talked about this, I believe it was a year ago, on a video called The Shaking is Coming. Well, we've been in the, the next shaking. It's been both economic, political, uh, in the church world, there's been so many things that have been shaken, but as the shaking continues, don't be afraid and don't back down in the assignments that God has called you to because right now the shaking is sifting those who God can trust. And that's what the Gamel is all about. He will deal out blessings to those who he can trust, but judgment is here for those who disobey. I want to thank you so much for supporting this ministry. I want to thank you so much for sending us to the nations, establishing churches like in San Salvador, Bahamas, the first fruits of America and beyond. I want to thank you so much for being ministry partners. If you have not signed up to be on our email list, to become a groundbreaker, a ministry partner, please do so because we communicate with you even more through those avenues than we do on the YouTube channel. Make sure that you check us out on all of our social media platforms and make sure that you check out our website, www.gbreaker.org. For all things Groundbreaker International, have a new book coming out in September right at the beginning of the new Hebrew calendar year. It's called The Mysteries of the Hebrew Alphabet, and you can pre-order that right now. And if you pre-order it now, you have a pre-order deal that is on our website that you can get, but you need to pre-order that book right now, and you'll re you will receive that book when it comes out this fall. So, until next time, God bless you, God bless your family, and we will see you all again real, real soon. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that notification bell so you can receive updates for when new content arrives. Also be sure to visit our website at gbreaker.org. From there you can learn more about Groundbreaker International, and if the Lord leads you to do so, you can sow a financial seed of blessing. 
Now, I would like to invite you to check out one of these other videos from Groundbreaker International's YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless.